If you A, love Australian flora, or B, are interested in learning watercolor painting, even if you've literally never done it before, then this tutorial is for you. Today, we're going to be painting watercolor bottle brush just like this. Starting with some brown on my brush, I'm going to paint some blobs. And I've actually got too much water on my brush and needed to dab that off, but now I'm gonna keep going with my little blobs. The blobs are kind of creating little U shapes going down a line, which is going to be the middle of our bottle brush flower. So I'm using clusters of these little blobs to create the middle of the flower. And then next up, I'm going to grab some green for my bottle brush leaves. And the green in my palette is a bit brighter than I would have liked. So I'm going to add a bit of red to my green to make it a little warmer and more earthy. And now I'm going to paint my leaves. And I have another tutorial all about painting leaves that I'll link for you. So you can learn more about that if you've never done it before. Basically to paint these leaves, I start with the tip of the brush, push down with the belly of the brush to create a wide middle part of the leaf and then lift up again slowly at the end to create a point. Now I'm creating the stem for my flower using just the tip of my brush, painting a long curved line and adding a couple of leaves on the bottom of that stem as well. Now I'm going to grab some red onto my brush, making sure I don't have too much water on the brush like I did earlier with the brown. And I'm just using the very tip of the brush to create some thin lines in a kind of V shape cluster. And you'll see that these are parallel to the little blobs that we painted earlier in brown. And you'll see that some of these lines overlap with the V shape next to them, but I'm leaving a bit of white space between them so that it doesn't all turn into one big blob. Next up, I'm grabbing some brown onto my brush and painting a heap of little dots just along the end of these red lines. Again, leaving a little bit of white space between the dots just to make sure it's not one big blob. And then adding a little bit more detail to my leaves with another layer of my green over the top. And I'm just adding a little bit of dark green to the bottom part of the leaves just to add a bit of depth and shadow. And there you have your bottle brush. Now that you've painted your very own watercolour bottle brush and you're feeling excited and ready to keep on painting watercolour Australian flora, I've got a whole playlist for you ready to go. Click here to watch it now.